Oh, welcome, Waffle Warfets. So we are back with the fantastic Sikoro Shadows Die Twice on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be carrying on making our way towards the second boss. Now, in the last video, we didn't get a tremendous amount of stuff done. We made a little bit of progress in this new area. We unlocked a shortcut so we don't have to go the long way around anymore. And we also found a upgrade for our prosthetic arm that allows us to use an axe, which is very, very good for smashing uh, shielded enemies' shields. So uh, if you're doing this area, or most of the game really, make sure you get this loaded axe because it will take care of their shields very easily. Because if you try and kill a shielded enemy uh, and not destroy their shield, it's just very, very irritating to do, you know. So, yeah, let's uh, come up here and let's try and go over to this next area stealthily. Actually, I'm going to drop down here because I think there might be an item hidden in here that I didn't actually get in the last video. Got one of those spirit emblems or whatever they're called. But yeah, there's an item over here. I think this might be one of those like sugars or something, you know. Those sugars that do whatever they do. Yeah, this is the best sugar by far. I love this one. The amount of damage it uh, lowers is brilliant, you know. It can pretty much mean the... Uh, it increases the likelihood of you actually killing a boss, pretty much. Because if you're doing really, really well on a boss, but, you know, you're just failing at the last hurdle, you eat one of those blue sugars, and uh, it lowers the damage you take, and you'll just very easily defeat the boss, you know. <laughs> very good. But it's the kind of item that you only use when you know you're, uh, you're about to kill the boss. Right, this is the door we opened in the last video. Stops us having to go around that way. Right. Now, if I remember correctly, there's uh, two areas we can go to. We already went in there in the last video and we got attacked by a bunch of... Ah, there they are, look. A bunch of disgusting, weird chicken turkeys. So we've already been in there. I think there's a guy over there that speaks to you about a property you can go to that's got something cool in it, which I've not actually been to in my own playthrough yet, so I don't really know where it is. This is where you get the loaded uh, axe, if you didn't see the last video, in that building over there. And uh, this bit has got a bunch of people in it, and you've got two weirdos trying to break in. Let me, let's have a listen. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I... Oh, oh shit, they saw me. <laughs> Whoops. That's what you get, mate. Lovely jubbly. That didn't go too badly. I thought I was going to get absolutely annihilated then. Right. Let's get up here now. So yeah, there's got to be a bunch of people you can talk to in here. I don't think any of them really do anything. I think one of them might give me something. It might be this one here, maybe. Let's have a look. I'm not... Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. What does this person want? Oh, no. We're not going to bother eavesdropping. I don't think we really need to. There's probably some important information that I'm not going to hear now, but never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was a baddie. It's just a, it's just a fucking torch. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the guy. He's some sort of thief, but he mentions there being some sort of condo somewhere where there's something cool inside it. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? No. Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. A three-story pagoda. Okay, so we just need to look for some sort of, like, three-story building, and we might find something cool. I wonder if we could actually get in this building. There's probably a way of getting in, in there. Let's have a look. Can I, like, jump on the roof? Any, like, way in here? Any little secret nook or cranny I can sneak into? What is this? What kind of rip-off is this? <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I can... Can I burn down the roof? Shall I try it? Shall I try and burn the roof? Nope, that was a complete waste of my ammo. Lovely jubbly. 
Right, I might as well keep my axe out now because there's going to be a bunch of shielded enemy in a second that we're going to have to deal with. Okay, right. As you can see, there's two of them up there. Lovely. I've never actually used this axe on these uh, enemies yet because like I said, I don't know if I said it in this video or the last video, I got through the majority of the uh, first three areas of the game without this uh, axe. So, uh... Oh, yes, that's very nice. Oh, that is sexy. <laughs> Way easier. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, you don't understand how horrible it is trying to kill these guys without the axe. I, di I didn't even know. I completely ignored the guy who tells you where the axe is. That's why. It was my own fault, really. That's why it's always a benefit for me playing playthroughs first and then doing the YouTube playthrough. Because there's lots of little tips and stuff that I can give to you guys and girls. Right, now there is um, there is a sort of like a uh, master samurai guy over here or some sort of monk. And uh, he's got he's one of the guys that's going to give you a prayer bead if you kill him. You can sneak up on him and get rid of one of his health bars. And then after that he is... I can't remember if he was tough or not. I think it was one of those bosses where you're supposed to uh, use your Makiri counter or whatever it's called quite often. But I refuse to use that because I'm bad at it. So I'm probably going to die several times, but we'll see how we do. Do that. I'm gonna kill this guy. Lovely. Now we're gonna hide in this bit right over here. Suck up all of the yumminess. That's what she said. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That's it. That vi this video is demonetized. I've fucked it up now. I think there's two guys over there, but I don't think they bother you. If they do, then we're gonna die, but I'm just gonna hope they don't. You just gotta be careful because he's got a long weapon. That's what she said also. And uh, it can uh, obviously do a lot of sweeping attacks where you might need to do things like jumping and that. So we'll see how we do. We might kill him in one, we might die horribly. Counting thrust attacks. Yeah, so it's talking about the counter I've got. I'll try and do it. I'll try and give you an example of how cool it is, but I'm probably gonna fail it and end up dead. There we go. A prime example of me failing it. <laughs> yeah, those other guys are coming over. I'm going to have to uh, get out of the way for a minute because uh, otherwise I'm going to end up dead. Is he a bowman? If he was a bowman, I could kill him with my shrewken, but yeah. Let's just wait for him to go away. Okay, that should be alright. Alright, let's carry on trying to not die. Oh, come on, Beowulf. Stop being bad at games. Come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, I probably deserve that. I probably deserve that. Okay, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. The problem with dying on this guy is you have to run all the way back up and you've got to run past a bunch of enemies, you know, and if they end up smacking you, then you come over here with less health. It's pain in the arse. We can uh, run past those shielded guys, though. I don't think they cause any uh, issues. Goodbye! There we go, lovely. Right, I don't think they bobby. Oh shit. Oh, what are you looking for? Go away, you don't normally start looking. Oh, you better not spot me, come on. He normally doesn't even care. He normally just stands there. He's going to see me, isn't he? I mean, I suppose I can jump on him. But yeah, you just have to get really, really good at doing that counter attack. If you can get really good at that attack and you can perfect it, then uh, this game is going to be so much easier for you, you know? 
But if you can't get good at it, like like I'm not good at it really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. So it depends on the weapon. When it's long weapons like that, I'm just really bad. When it's swords and thrust attacks like that, I seem to be good at reacting to that. But the other stuff, no, I'm not, I'm not very good. I'm not going to pretend I'm good when I'm not. Might as well kill these guys just so they don't bother me. Oh, dear. Look at that nosy sod. <laughs> Come running up here to get involved. Go away. I suppose you could just, what you could do, you know, is a, a few smacks with your weapon, then just back away. Obviously, I need to become anonymous because I don't want to, uh... I want to become anonymous, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get my cheeky, uh... My cheeky death smack, you know? My death blow. Right, I've already got to take a bloody potion, which isn't the best. He's still here. I guess he's still after me, yeah. And the music's still playing. I don't, I don't know how he knows I'm up here, you know. I mean, he probably saw me run up here, which is fine. But I could have gone off into the forest. I could be up there in that fireplace by now. And that's where you're heading to, the fire, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Oh, cool. What's this? What's this way, then? Oh, nothing, nothing interesting. I don't think I ever came up here. Is he still fucking looking at me? Come on, game. Don't be pathetic. He doesn't know where I am now. Don't start being stupid. Just ridiculous and wasting my time like always. Because I'm going to inevitably die again. Well, there's no way in hell that I'm going to fight him with three, uh, with these two health bars. He can piss right off. I don't know how far he's going to follow me. You are really annoying me, mate. I'm going to tell you that right now. You are really, really pissing me off. <laughs> really annoying me. Right, I'm in a bush now. You shouldn't be able to fight me. How the fucking hell does he know I'm in there? How the hell does he know? Like, how the hell does he know? I don't understand it. How does he know? I'm just going to have to run all the way down here for now and make him leave me alone. You can fight him, like, the proper way, but I don't see the point, you know? Why? Well, if I can get a cheap shot, you know, I might as well just do that. Okay, he shouldn't be following me now, should he? Let's just wait here for a second, and then we'll go back up there and do it properly. Sorry for all the faffing around and that, you know? I'll just have to make sure I definitely kill him this time. <laughs> Got to make sure after all that faffing around. All right, looks like he's gone now. But he's still bloody quite close to me, actually. He didn't even really walk that far away. I'm going to have to have a pellet because I don't want to waste any more of my uh, healing gold just yet. Okay, right. I need to get good at this bloody counter. You know, I've actually gotten pretty good at it, thanks thanks to fighting the third boss. I mean, I'm good at it with the third boss, you know, but each enemy has a different way of doing stuff, you know, a different speed that they attack. So even though you get good at it with one enemy, that doesn't mean you're going to be good at it with the next enemy. And I'm just not good at it with enemies with long weapons, you know. I'm better with swords and stuff like that. Right, come on, Beowulf, don't be crap at the game. It's probably a really quick, easy way of beating him.
I'm not doing very well at the moment. Keep your fucking weapon up, you absolute cock! I've got to be distracted by that shielded guy as well. Unnecessary amount of supplies. <laughs> Oh, damn shitty dodge. I'm sorry I'm doing so badly. I apologise massively. I know I'm doing badly, I know. It's just these elite enemies seem to be the bane of me. I'm not even playing. I'm so bad at fighting them. Hey, 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 come on. Don't be a cheater. <laughs> I've got no healing items, I can't resurrect. So if I could do enough damage to him where I can resurrect and hopefully smack him and not just immediately get murdered. Come on. Oh, come on, what? I wish I could block those. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ah, that's what you get. <laughs> there you go. That's what you flipping get, you son of a bitch. I'm flipping... What an absolute twat I am. What an absolute disgrace I am to the gaming world. I apologise. I am so shit. <laughs> I, I, I know it. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it, you know. I'm not afraid to say it, you know. When I'm cocky, it's because I know I'm an absolute beast at games, you know. And then when, I, when I'm shit, I'll, I'll tell you I'm shit, you know. I'm not going to lie. I am shit, you know. I'm good at some enemies in this game, you know. Not many, but I am good at some. Uh, but the majority of them are horrible. There you go. Ah, lovely. The best site in the world, a checkpoint. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Gotta love a checkpoint, innya? There we go. How many more prayer beads do I need? I think I need a lot. Oh, oh no, I've got four prayer beads finally. Here we go. I get more health now. Enhance your physical attributes. More health and better posture. And you need better posture, especially if you're a gamer, you know, because you're always hunching over with your controller like, fucking yeah, come on. You know, and then you get a bad back, you know. I mean, I've got a bad back because um, overdoing it with physical uh, activities. And I don't mean banging, I mean like, I, I, I decided to start doing weights and stuff in 2015 because I was really angry that year and weights was like a weight. Because I'm normally a, the kind of man that skips arm day and not leg day. I like running and stuff like that, you know. So uh, I started going hard with weights and stuff because I thought it'd be the kind of way to get rid of some of that rage. And it worked brilliantly, but because I was pushing myself so hard to get rid of this anger, I think that's what did my back in. Because it was from doing that, you know. And even though the doctors say, oh, it's because I've got bad posture, which I don't, I sit up pretty straight, except when I'm recording because my camera's got such a crappy tripod, I need to get down low. <laughs> Otherwise, if I sit up like I'm supposed to, look, my head's gone, so, you know, it's, I don't have a choice. But they seem to act like it's bad posture and laziness, which it fucking isn't. I got it from doing too much of anything. God, doctors really give me the ump. So yeah, I could do with all the posture upgrade I can get, because apparently I've got bad posture. There's quite a few baddie enemies around here, so uh, we'll have to be careful. What the fuck are you doing? What I, I, I press circle, I do this and then I press that. Oh look, he does it fine now. But then when I do it against an enemy, he just like decides to go... He just it does, it does this, ready? Uh, now what do I do? Right, there's a baddie over here. How the hell did you spot me? 
two bad guys down there. Oh god. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of arrow guys. Really, about to have taken some sort of healing item. I should have just done better. I know I'm making excuses right now, but I am pretty tired. That's another reason I'm probably doing bad. <laughs> just throwing that out there, I am pretty damn tired. What's that? What are you supposed to do? Why you got? Why has he got some fancy attack? You're a bowman. You're the easiest enemy in the game. The bowmen and the wolves are just fine enemies. If the whole game was filled with that, we wouldn't have no trouble. Oh, crap. Lovely. Lovely oil. Right, I think I might need to switch back over to my... What the hell is that? Oh, that fat jelly guy. Oh, I'm not even sure if I can get a stealth kill on him. I think I might have just run straight past him when I got here because there's two shielded guys over there as well. And as I said, I didn't have the axe. So uh, I tried to avoid them. Yeah, um, can I bait him over? I suppose I can bait him over here, can't I? <laughs> I bet mean, I mean, he's like, for fuck's sake, I'm just standing here. What's your beef, B-Wolf? What is your beef? Come on, don't, stop walking fat. Come on, hurry up. Oops. <laughs> They're just like, I don't even give a shit, mate. You can throw whatever you want at me. I thought the point of me crouching in the uh, bushes was to go invisible. Oh, okay, it works eventually. Look at this guy's face, though. Look how, like, sad and cute he looks. How the hell did you spot me? Oh crap. Oh no! Oh shit! See? When it's enemies like this, you know, enemies where it's all about the dodging, the backing up and stuff like that, you know, where you can play more like Bloodborne, I'm an absolute legend. And then I get up to a puny normal enemy, like a stupid monk with a long stick, you know, that can poke a lot, and all of a sudden I'm bad at games. <laughs> oh dear. Damn, this playthrough is gone. There's going to be a lot of complaining from me. Oh, what's that? Oh, we better go back over there and have a look what that is. We don't want to leave that behind, you know, because sometimes you can leave some of the most amazing things behind, you know. And there are qu quite a few really cool things you can create in this game. Like craft and that, you know. I don't actually know how to get over there. Oh, hang on. There we go. So what is it? Is it worth my time? Dowsing powder. Oh, okay. It's good for burn. Da uh, good for burns. Which uh, I suppose in this area there is quite a lot of enemies rocking fire blades and that. But this tank, I think, is actually. I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, also uh, handy for my YouTube playthrough. But if you guys and girls saw my playthrough I did of Bloodborne in 2015, in Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and Demon Souls, you can be invaded by other players. It's pretty much an online game. If you don't want to be invaded, you turn your internet off. You know. And uh, in the um, in a dark side, in a, my Bloodborne playthrough, I was consistently getting attacked by other players because I played it pretty close to release, and it was quite an active community. And they would just continuously attack me and throw me off during my videos, you know. So I would end up, you know, not making the right amount of progress that I wanted to make in the video. So uh, that's probably one perk to there not being any multiplayer in this game. You know, I can actually make all the progress I want to make, providing I don't die too much. But um, 
Could you imagine if this game did have multiplayer? I think that would be absolutely amazing. Could you imagine that? Someone attacking your game and you both having grappling hooks, flying around, you know, sneaking around, being all ninja -y. That'd be proper badass. Really cool fights, I reckon. So it would be nice if there was some sort of online option in this game. But I don't miss it, you know, because I did get really annoyed with being invaded, you know. Because uh, they always seem to attack me at the most in inconvenient times ever. So uh, I can't say I miss it too much. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, remember, this section of the game is set three years in the past, so uh, this is stuff that happened in the past, so stuff that we don't actually know about. Look at the state of this place. This will make a nice thumbnail actually. No, no, wrong button, wrong button. Let's get you out of the way. No, 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 I don't want all these bloody icons in the way. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That is a thumbnail and a half, isn't it? Flipping hell. I don't want to increase the hue too much in this thumbnail. <laughs> It'll be proper red. Right, let's have a look. Oh, this is... I think this might be my dad. Maybe. I might be wrong, but I think this might be my dad. The person that uh, gets you at the beginning of the game. Possibly. I could be wrong. Father. Uh, oh, sorry about that. You, I'm afraid I made a bit of a blunder. Perhaps the years have finally caught up with me. Ah, don't bother tending to my wounds, no point. Mm. It's too late. Uh, wolf, you must take this. Hidden Temple Key. Lovely. The secret temple is located in the very back of the Herati Tem Estate. This is the key to the secret temple in the estate mansion you'll find him the divine air going through the front is not an option you'll never get past the fire yes sir perhaps the cliffs just outside of here yes return to the estate entrance you look for a side route along the cliffs take the back entrance through the cemetery that's your way in understood Wolf, never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The Master is absolute. Wolf, protect your Master with your life. <coughs> Father. The Divine Heir, in case you guys and girls forgot, that is the kid from the beginning of the game. He is the person that we've been uh, pretty much told to look after. Oh crap, well we ain't going out that way anymore, are we? But he's the boy from the uh, beginning of the game who we are. Uh, pretty much our objective is to protect him from, with our life. Now I think the reason why so many people are trying to get this boy is because um, whoever protects this boy and becomes his shinobi his guardian, they seem to get this power like what my character has got where you could come back from the dead. So I think loads of people are just trying to uh, be involved with this like future heir of the throne because he's got this dragon blood and then they have the ability to come back to life if they want to, if they're like his protector. I think that's somewhat why they're uh, after the kid all the time, because of his uh, power to pretty much bring people back from the dead. We have to go the back way though to get to this place because uh, as you saw there's too much fire everywhere, so we have to go around the back way. Oh, oh, okay. I, I panicked then. I thought I might have done a bit too much of a uh, drop and I might have died. Now, uh, there's two ways you can go. Uh, I think the other way you can go is actually a dead end. There's a couple of items and stuff, but pretty much there isn't much reason to go that way, you know, because it's only like a, maybe a pellet and there's two really irritating enemies you can't sneak up on. So I would recommend just skipping that way if you wanna. But yeah, I'm gonna have to end the video now anyway, and we will carry on with this next time. So I'm gonna. Uh, pause it so no one sneaks up on me and just one thing I will mention when you're playing this game when you're done uh, go to quit game because it will save your game properly if you just uh, close the application sometimes it can mess and mess up your save and it might not put you where you necessarily was you know so make sure you exit the game with quit game but yeah thanks for watching Wolf Wolf let's hopefully you've enjoyed the last two videos I've been very bloody tired I've only, I only slept like three hours last night at the time of recording and the video you saw before this was also on three hours of sleep I had a really bad night sleeping I only sleep about five hours anyway I'm just 
I'm too hot blood. I'm too hot blooded and angry all the time to actually sleep, you know. And then I'm up at four for work, you know. So yeah, I'm, I'm always tired. You probably see my eyes are probably always like baggy looking. But yeah, you know, it's no excuse for bad gameplay. I should be doing better. But yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to insult me in the comments below for my terrible gameplay. <laughs> like, share, and join the pack today. Oh.